Hey Ma, I've got an important client coming in. I really need this. So when he comes in, I need you to talk and act like I'm important. Oh, uh, uh. yes, Hollywood superstar Brad Pitt. I will get that for you right away. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, hi there. I don't know if you just heard, but I was talking to Hollywood superstar Brad Pitt. I'm doing his next wedding. Him and Angie broke up. Hurts me. Hurts right here. So what can I do for you? I asked my fiance to marry me a couple of months ago. Plan is not going so well. We don't know what we're doing. We're fighting all the time because we can't decide on anything. So figured I'd get a little bit of help. So what kind of wedding are you two looking for? Well, we kind of both grew up in rural countryside, so maybe some sort of farm wedding, maybe something with animals. And I'm not really too sure, but that was an avenue we were maybe looking at. Well, that's perfect, because that makes the permitting so much easier. So, what I cannot recommend highly enough is the tiger package. We will have live tigers at your wedding. Now, have you ever had a world famous wedding? Well, with this, you can get it. I had one last week, all over the news. Mostly because two people died, but how often are you getting a wedding on the news? All right, so how are you thinking you get into the wedding? I have a cousin, Vinny, who owns a stretch limo. I can book him for you for cheap, or if you wanna go a bit more extravagant, I have the Fast and Furious package here for you. I can get Paul Walker to drive you to your wedding. Paul Walker's dead. Are you kidding me? I have booked that package six times this week already. <sighs> All right, new plan. I will reanimate Paul Walker and have his undead corpse drive you to your wedding. Listen, I don't think that my future wife is gonna be happy with getting into a car with an unnamed corpse. Just saying, bro. Well, your wife kind of sounds like a goody two-shoes. So, just in case your wife doesn't go for that, I can offer you the Runaway Bride package. In case your wife wanted Julia Roberts on you, I will stand in as your bride at your wedding. I have a dress on layaway at JCPenney's ready to go. All right, let's talk guest list. You don't look like the kind of guy who's got a lot of friends. So, I can provide you with the friend package. I can give you up to 100 friends, up to five different minorities. I did five years in San Quentin, I know people. So, parents, your parents coming? Do you have parents? Yeah, of course they're coming, they're, they're my parents. Not anymore, they're uninvited. I can get you, Hollywood superstar, Chris Farley and Anna Nicole Smith to stand in and be your parents. Yeah, um, uh, they are also dead. What? Debbie! Yes, Mr. Jimmy? How many people have I booked this week are already dead? I see 13. You don't think that's maybe something you should have mentioned? All right, so flowers. What are you thinking for flowers? My fiance is kind of in charge of that, and I think she was thinking either lilies or daisies from a local florist. Wrong. Women are dumb. Here's what we're gonna do. I know a guy who works in the funeral business. I can get you slightly used flowers at cost. What I've learned from being in the business, dead people don't need flowers. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on one second. Did you get these flowers from the funeral procession? Or are you stealing them from the grave sites? You ask a lot of fucking questions. All right, so photography. Are you thinking a photographer or are you thinking video photography? I think we probably just go with photography. Both seem kind of expensive when I looked into it. Okay, I'm just spitballing here, but my brother Teddy just got a camera for his birthday. It would really mean a lot to me if you would let him take your pictures at your wedding because my mom says I need to spend more time with him. So, for food. What do you want for food? I can get you the best red meat on the market. To be honest, based on everything else that we've talked about here today, 
I'm gonna need you to clarify what you mean by red meat. Well, it's technically edible, and there was red stuff around it when we found it, so. So, what kind of music you guys think you might want at your wedding? To be honest, the genre doesn't overly matter. The only thing we don't want is an empty dance floor, so something that's gonna be energetic, getting people up to dance and whatnot, that's really the only thing that we need. Now I'm just spitballing here, but Teddy's already gonna be there taking pictures, and he's been learning the accordion. Is it good? No. Is it danceable? No. But is it cheap? No. All right, who do you think you want to officiate your wedding? I did have Betty White lined up, but bless her soul, she passed away. No, she's, she's very much still alive. Are you kidding me? She's like a hundred years old, how is she still alive? Still is. Well anyways, I can get you a great Jew, they can officiate your wedding. We're not Jewish. Well, I'll just put hate Jews down here. Okay, well, I think that's all I need to hear. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. We're probably gonna go with somebody else, so, yeah. Hey, Ma, bad news. I didn't get the gig. I'm gonna need you to loan me 2,000 bones. I bought two tigers already. I can't return them. 